Hi everybody, I wanted to show you the easy way uh, to terminate your own uh, ethernet cables. So you're gonna need a piece of ethernet cable. You're also gonna need a tool for cutting the sheath. You're also gonna need an RJ45 crimping tool. You're gonna need some rubber boots. And most importantly, you're gonna need some pass-through RJ45 connectors. You're also gonna need a wiring diagram. There's two wiring diagrams. There's a A and a B standard. B is the most common, so I'm gonna use B. You can use either, it doesn't really matter, as long as they're the same at each end. So first thing you wanna do is get your ethernet cable. This is CAT6, uh, so get that. First thing you wanna do is slide the boot on before it gets more difficult, nice and simple, when it's a nice blank end, so just Put that on and then pull it back and get that out of the way for now. Then you want to use one of these. Uh, this is a nice, easy, quick way to take off the outer PV sheath of a cable. You can use the actual RJ45 Ethernet crimping tool. You can see here there's a label that says strip, so you could use that too. I just prefer to use this little simple yellow tool. So all you do, slide in the cable, tiny bit of pressure and then just spin that round a couple of times, take it off and then just pull. So here you can see four pairs of cables. Just pull those out the way for now. First thing you wanna do is get rid of the plastic carrier. So this just helps keep the four pairs separate when they're in the cable. We don't need that. So get yourself a pair of wire cutters and just crimp that off the base being careful not to touch the cables and then there's also the rip cord here we don't need that so you can just chop that off as well so just chop that once you've done that you want to separate all of the pairs into individual strands so just unwind them So once they're unwound, you now want to straighten them out before we put them in the right order. So a simple way to do that, just finger and forefumb and pull away a couple of times on each one. You can see they're straightening up already. Just hold it gently, you don't have to squeeze too tight. Just pull it just a couple of three times for each one and that will straighten it out. Okay, once they're reasonably straight, remind yourself of the color code, and then you wanna put them in that order. So we just go ahead and do that now. Okay, they're all in the correct order double check on the wiring diagram. Then once you've done that, you wanna allow yourself 20 mil or so, 30 mil, it doesn't really matter. Get yourself some pliers and then give them a nice clean cut, nice and perpendicular if you can, and then just clip those off, hold them still. You've got really nice straight edge. Check again that everything's in the correct order, which it is. Then grab yourself a pass-through connector. Now. Hold the pass-through connector so that the little toggle on the end there, which you can just see, the plastic toggle is underneath. That means pin one is the top left. All you do, just push that in there gently, push them through, and then they'll come out of the holes at the end. Push it through so that you can see there, the gray PVC goes as far in as you can get it. You can see there, that's all the way in. And I don't know if you can see just there, there's a little piece that's gonna crimp down onto that PVC. This has passed all the way through. That's why this is called an easy pass-through connector. Just check they're all in the right order before you crimp it. If, you, if not, pull it out and start again. This is all correct. So get your crimping tool, take the RJ45, just push that all the way in till it's neatly in. 
And then if you look on the back, there's a blade. So as this comes down, that's gonna chop those off in the right position. So I'll hold it that way while I do it. Pull the lever, there you go. And those are all crimped off. Take that last one off, undo it, take it off. There we are, you got yourself a really neat RJ45 Ethernet cable's been terminated on there, really secure. And then the last thing to do is just pull that boot that we put on earlier all the way to the top and then just get that over the back there and with the little connector in. So there you go. Nice and simple, very easy to do. You can't really make any mistakes. If you put the cables in the wrong way around, you can just pull them back out, put them in the right order and push them through. So I'd really recommend you have a go at terminate ethernet cables yourself, uh, save yourself a lot of money and you can make your own custom links as needed. Hope that helps. If it did, please consider subscribing and maybe uh, hit that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.